Hello everyone, this is Chris with Fisher Workshops, and in this video tutorial, learn how to make my leather wallet for the Secret Mini Smart Wallet. The Mini Smart Wallet provides for compact and convenient access to your credit cards. Most smart wallets like this also come with RDIF chip protection, which protect the chips on your cards from being illegally read through fraudulent activity. A free PDF pattern for this wallet can be downloaded from fisherworkshops.com. If you plan to tool your wallet, first start by taping the back side of the leather so that while you're tooling, the leather will not lose its shape. Do not soak, but dampen the leather with a wet sponge. Then give the leather about five minutes to absorb the water thoroughly before tooling. Since I plan to tool basket weave, I wanna first start by drawing my stitching lines. Then I'm going to draw the borders where my tooling will be. The diagonal line I'm now drawing will be a guide for my basket weave tooling. For my basket weave tooling and border stamp, I'm going to be using a couple of my Berry King tools. Until you get a feel for the basket weave, getting them to line up perfectly can be difficult. So until you get a feel for it, I recommend taking your time and doing it slowly, making sure that each time you do it, it lines up nicely. You can also use an extra light as I have done to make sure that your basket weave lines up perfectly. As you fill in your basket weave, make sure to not tool over the borders that you have drawn. Here's how it should look after you've tooled in the basket weave. Now I'm going to go ahead and finish the border with my other stamp. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out Here's how it should look when you're done. Now I'm going to apply a resistant sheen to the tooled area. Once it's dried and both sides are tooled and finished, I can go ahead and apply an antique stain to the top. Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and 
start from the ground. And I, I really wanna know, really wanna know if I will ever figure out where the road goes. Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. Say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Be careful when applying the resist not to go over the border that you've drawn Even if the sky is falling down Even if the sky is falling down Now that both sides are tooled and finished, I can go ahead and apply the stain to the rest of the unfinished areas. Now I can go ahead and apply my antique finish to the tooled areas. Wipe off any excess finish and we're done. Application of the antique finish helps bring out the details in the tooling after we're finished. Here's how it should look. Now I want to punch a couple of holes where I'll set buttons. Now I'm going to first go ahead and set buttons for the latch that I made for the wallet. Now I'll go ahead and set buttons for both sides of the wall ends for the latch to attach to.
Now I'm ready to go ahead and assemble the wallet's interior. I'll start by first gluing the interior pockets to the leather wallet. Since the Secret Smart Wallet is made out of aluminum, I can't stitch it to the leather wallet, so I'm going to have to securely fix it with glue. Now I'm going to go ahead and punch stitching holes with my stitching chisel along the edges of the wallet and stitch together. Later in the video you'll notice that I used white linen thread which I ended up not liking. But the great thing about linen thread is it can be stained, so I went ahead and stained over it to match the rest of the color of the wallet. Also in this video I don't demonstrate how I hand stitched the wallet together, but you can visit my other video that is available on how to stitch leather by hand. Here I use an edge beveler to bevel the edges so I can burnish the edges nicely later on. Here I stain the edges black and then burnished with a wood slicker. Now apply glue to the leather lip where you will fix the aluminum smart wallet to it. Because the surface of the aluminum smart wallet is very smooth, it can be difficult for a contact cement like this to adhere properly. So I went ahead and used a rough sandpaper on one side of the smart wallet so that the glue would fix securely to it. Please use the illustration to see where you should fix the smart wallet to the leather wallet. Now that I'm finished, I have a beautiful leather wallet to cover my smart wallet with. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Fisher Workshops and click on the bell notification if you'd like to receive updates on our latest video releases.